surprise, surprise, Roblox has made yet another decision that I'm sure everybody is going to dislike. Last year, Roblox had what was potentially their worst brand collab ever when they partnered with DressX. DressX is this weird clothing company, if you even want to call it one, that sells digital clothes and has an NFT marketplace. I think you buy the clothes, then send them a picture, then they basically photoshop the clothes onto you. They also have an NFT marketplace where I believe you buy NFT clothes with the same concept of digitally wearing them. It's such a goofy concept in my opinion, but Roblox seemed to be fond of the metaverse digital fashion it provides. Roblox not only promoted their UGC layered clothes and accessories, but also their website and marketplace. Speaking of their website, their official account's username redirects people to it, which is against Roblox TOS. Roblox hasn't done anything about it, even though they banned tons of people for the same rule in the past. The community wasn't too pleased with this, not only because NFTs suck, but it was Roblox favoring brands over users. This is when UGC layered clothing was relatively new, but instead of promoting user-made clothes, they promoted brands. Fortunately, Roblox has done basically the exact same thing and has repeated themselves word for word, bar for bar. Roblox has once again promoted NFT digital clothing metaverse brand DressX on Twitter and also on Instagram. DressX is back with a new UGC collab with some random brand called Dundas that I've never heard of before. Two brands have collaborated together in Roblox, which Roblox higher-ups are probably incredibly thrilled about. It's really nothing interesting. Just some more UGC layered clothes and accessories from some random brands. Roblox tells us to step out in style with these iconic looks, while the video only shows Star Throw nobody uses with random quotes. I'm willing to bet nobody finds these Arthro avatars or brand UGC clothes iconic, maybe aside from Roblox employees. It's really no surprise to see Roblox promote some random brands with how corporate they've gone in the last year or two. It sucks that it's also no surprise that Roblox is once again favoring random brands over their own community though. The RB Battles finale happened yesterday which has obviously been a big deal that the community is super hyped about. But at the time of making this, Roblox has yet to put out any tweets, repost videos, anything about the RB Battles finale. It takes literally 10 seconds to make a tweet, Instagram post, or add a video to a playlist. And Roblox has done nothing. The most promo Roblox gave RB Battles is a playlist on their YouTube channel, but they stopped updating it. But Roblox has no issue promoting these random metaverse brands that players typically aren't slightly interested in. They put such low effort into promoting these with one sentence reposts, but won't even do that for community made things. This likely boils down to Roblox's social media marketing and management teams and what they approve to be posted. One of these days I might do a video explaining why Roblox's social media accounts don't freely post like they used to. If Roblox's Twitter guy had free reign to post whatever, I'm sure we'd see RB Battle stuff, but I don't think he does. Unfortunately that freedom likely doesn't exist, so we get a bunch of corporate junk like this instead of community posts. It would be great if Roblox started posting stuff actually for the community again, but they probably don't care, so this is what we have to deal with.